Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. <clears throat> Get your tissues ready because today I'm going to blow your mind. We're going to deal with the original orc. You got it? The original orcs. You think you know them? Well, let's find out. The savage race known as orcs and their underling slave race of Gretchen were probably the first extraterrestrial civilization encountered by humanity. That was a long time ago. Uh, quite when no one remembers. People say on their first meeting, man and orc exchanged a long, hard look and didn't much care for what they saw. Thus began the long interstellar conflict, which has gone on ever since. Orcs and their servants are mankind's principal enemies. Orc spacecraft ravage and plunder the Imperium, and orc armies bring death and destruction to human worlds. Similarly, humans crusade against orcs on their own worlds and in the depths of space. A continual state of war exists between them and shows no sign of abatement. Orcs are large humanoids, averaging two meters tall, with powerful limbs. Their heads are bald and brutish, with strong thrusting jaws and beetled brows. Their noses are puggish and flat, and their ears large and pointed except where they have been bitten off during some brawl or other. Orcs are basically carnivorous, with huge pointed teeth, often forming vicious tusks of considerable size and ferocity in appearance. Their skin is greenish, ranging from a sickeningly livid green to a drab olive color. Orcs are an extremely violent race. They have a deep, irrational dislike of all other life forms. They despise weaklings and respect only power and insane courage. No orc has ever learned to be patient. Sorry, Grasgull fans. <laughs> they speak in short bursts, swear, continuously, and laugh hysterically whenever something strikes them as funny. <clears throat> Examples of this can be sudden accidents, news of a terminal illness, struggles of a doomed victim, and etc. <laughs> Orcs always appear angry, their faces twisted into a permanent snarl, their eyes stabbing resentment and loathing. Their teeth continuously chomping and grinding. Orcs are difficult to befriend. They even fight amongst themselves. When an orc kills another in a brawl, it is not considered a crime. Rather, the victim is blamed for being careless, stupid, or just plain weak. Orc space comprises a large, compact area to the west of the galactic pole. In all, it probably numbers as many as 10,000 habitable solar systems. Humans and orcs share a similar physiology and require the same sort of worlds on which to live. Orcoid technology is not particularly sophisticated or reliable, but they have warp drives of a standard alien type. They have no central governing body and shouldn't be considered as representing a single nation in any sense. Instead, their worlds are divided into rival interwarring empires, most comprising of only one or two planets, with the largest about 20 worlds. There are thousands of these small empires each ruled over by a strong warlord. Territories change hands continuously. Alliances are made and pacts are signed 
and often broken on the same day. An old ruler displaced by young ambitious warriors. The power of a warlord is represented by the size of his fleets and by the strength of his armies. The sole purpose of every self-respecting orc warlord is to fight, especially when the battle is against the despised humans. As in the Imperium, there are many levels of civilization, civilization, throughout the orc domain. Most of their worlds are self-sufficient, semi-medieval planets where technology is largely ignored or reserved purely for the arts of war. Orcs regard technological competence as unbecoming a real warrior, preferring instead to rely on brute force whenever possible. <laughs> okay, so that's just the beginning. Next, we're going to go on to Gretchen. Yeah, it's, it, I know. Oh, and did you notice one thing? No mention of orc tribes. No goths, no blad, bad moons, no gork, uh, no mork, no any of that. Sorry, wasn't there in the beginning. This is why I laugh at anybody or any game that sits there and says, we try to be true to 40k lore and 40k canon. Really? Ask them one question then. What edition? I, I can call myself an orthodox 40k player. I only follow Rogue Trader. <laughs> if we're going to call it canon. Anyways, see you next time. Bye. Hmm.